maybe I should start the story from the beginning. I just got done finishing my first feature film and was heading to my first festival somewhere in North Carolina. I had a miserable flight. I was having trouble with my lead actress. And on top of everything else, the driver who was actually taking us to the festival was driving in a manner that was just making me sick forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. And then I got a text message from my wife. And this is where it all started. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to get there. Ah, have you ever tried to kick a moon? You just lay on your back and you put the moon between your feet and then you just kind of, you know, kick it up into the air and it's like a flying and it actually stays up in the sky. You know, Ice is dead, you jerk. I just shot this movie that I wrote. Well, actually someone else wrote it. Isis was a cool ass cat. One of those pimped out looking Siamese and she always wanted to kick it with me. But I changed it a bit, you know? I gave away the whole story at the beginning, you know? I just said toodles to the whole normal way of writing because, well, normal's boring. And I just decided to switch it up a bit, you know? Like put my own twist on things because that's really original. I told you not to let her outside. A stray dog killed her. You just like pop out of a cocoon one day and suddenly you have wings and you can like eat flowers and stuff. I wish I could eat flowers. I mean, they're so pretty and they look edible. Dolphins are cool. Like, I just went to an aquarium a few days ago. They say that Hope you enjoy your trip. P.S. Your movie sucks. Fish? Like, maybe a starfish and a dolphin could be BFFs. Because, you know, friendship is magic and it can do that. So while I was getting crucified by a bunch of filmmakers who never even shot a feature film themselves, my family was back at home having a funeral for this dead cat. From that point forward, I plotted my revenge. I took all of my military training and I applied it to this specific mission. I even got my wife involved with battle drills. And like every trained soldier that's never seen actual combat, I had the itch for some action. And that day finally came. You are not going to take that shotgun. Now I don't know what happened to the woman that actually told me my film sucked when I was heading to my first festival. Maybe time actually healed her wounds, but my PTSD was already acting up and it was over a year that I've had any action, so I had to ride this thing through. Did y'all see that? And that's how it all went down. I guess the moral of the story is don't let your cat out at night if you live somewhere in the middle of the desert. Or maybe luck is just being prepared when the right opportunity arises. Or maybe it's something about you need to drink more water. Who knows? Thank you.